you've got to be nice and cool. Nice and cool. Right? Stay on point, Donald. Stay on point. No sidetracks, Donald. Nice and easy. Nice. Because I've been watching Hillary the last few days. She's totally on a hinge. We don't want any of that. Can you just see the Saturday Night Live version of that? Um, this Saturday night, I keep thinking of the, the Jets in, in West Side Story, like, keep it cool. Keep it cool. Um, so that's Donald Trump. He's been firing up the crowds across the country for the last year and a half. But at a Florida rally, he uh, gave a pep talk of sorts to himself, telling himself to stay calm and disciplined, which is sometimes hard for him. Um, maybe they've locked up the Twitter uh, account for him, I don't know, over the last few days. Dan Henninger is deputy editorial page editor for The Wall Street Journal. Dan, welcome. Uh, good to see you. Last to get through, so we'll jump right in. Do you think he can do that, first of all? Uh, I think he can do it. He obviously finally understands that he has to after uh, everybody who's ever appeared on Fox News saying that he should stay on target. Uh, the question, though, is, Martha, you know there's a Trump dump coming in the next several days. The Clinton campaign has to change the subject from this FBI investigation. And if they've got anything left on Donald Trump, they're going to hit it with them. And then the question is, can he let it bounce off and keep doing what he's doing now? Stay tuned. Uh, quick thought from you on this foundation news, because I want to just get your reaction to that. The news that the FBI has two investigations that are going on, foundation and emails. Well, you know, I am so struck, Martha, by the New York Times uh, CBS poll this morning, which has Hillary ahead by three points. Trump has made up six in two weeks. If you would ask anybody in politics whether he could do that, they'd say virtually impossible. This FBI and foundation investigation has created negative momentum for Hillary Clinton. She is losing altitude. And I think what people are trying to absorb is, do they want to get past next Tuesday with a president-elect Hillary Clinton who is going to be undergoing multiple investigations by the federal government. That doesn't compute in a lot of people's minds, so I think this is having a big impact. You know, you bring up the possibility of, of the Clinton campaign dropping yet another dramatic bombshell into this scenario, and it almost feels like, like an opera, Dan. <laughs> and you have mapped out and casted an opera in your Wonderland column today in the Wall Street Journal. So how do you see the Trump Clinton opera. Who are the characters and how does it end is the big question. Well, I had to write a final column before uh, the election, so I came up with Trump the opera. And it was because I was lying in bed myself about a week ago saying, what can we make of what's been going on? It's like an opera. And I thought, Trump the opera. And I started writing scenes. And it stars Trump, Crooked Hillary, Lion Ted, Little Marco, Uma, the handmaiden. And I have created these scenes in which Trump and Crooked Hillary perform arias, indeed, Corey Lewandowski and Trump sing A Beautiful Wall, Un Bel Muro. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. Hillary sounds more beautiful than Italian somehow. Well, the best one was Hillary Clinton being interviewed by FBI Director Comey. Remember when she said, I can't recall 37 times? Mm -hmm. In Italian, that's non ricordo, non ricordo, non ricordo. <laughs> And uh, there's a death scene at the end, there's a balcony scene, and uh, I think that pretty much describes what we have been through, a grand opera so for a year and a half. Tell everybody at home, you do have to read the column because it's brilliant, um, but in the end, who's victorious on the balcony? Uh, the last person standing is Donald Trump. I must say it's preceded by a death scene. So yes, <laughs> course, you, have to it's an opera. you have to read the column, but the last person standing in the opera is Donald Trump taking days worth of curtain calls. Do you believe that will happen? It looks now like it's a genuine possibility. I mean, the momentum is all in his direction. We sometimes talk about momentum in these elections, and he has it. You could tell in that sot you just showed. He feels that he's got the momentum. She's, meanwhile, running commercials during the World Series about Trump and the women. I think people have gotten past that, and they're looking at the consequences of uh, next Tuesday. But we all know in any opera, sometimes there's a twist. At the end. Surprise ending. And there may be. Um, I think you've started something here. I think we're going to see Trump the Opera. I remember seeing Nixon in China. Exactly. So it's, it's highly possible that we may see Trump the Opera. Dan, great column, as always. Thank, Thank you me. very much. Great to see you. We'll see you after the election, I guess. Indeed. All right. Stay here. Stay